Wow. Because okay. just the way the try plays, she's a timer scam character versus a character who has a better timer scam. Yeah, yeah, very true. I mean, you can get the the deep breathing setup and all that stuff, but what it, it, it's like, okay, what you're setting up, is it stronger than double purple? Right, it is absolutely not. And then like, sure, she can heal, but she can't heal like, like she can't out heal Pikmin damage at oh, all. By and no then like, means. Olimar has like the disjoints, just keep her out. Like when she wants to go in, Olimar's disjoints is so hard for a deal. She's, he's small, so she can't do like a lot of rising aerials or a lot of steps, period. He's uh, has fast hitboxes, big range, and like she just gets out range uh, and everything. It's so hard. She also is very easy to combo, so it's like all of her hit wants to do a lot of damage very easily. And Edge Gardener is not that hard. So I feel like this is actually a matchup where like we for trainers might Jeez. expect in the future not play this matchup. Wow. I'm being honest. Did you see that shield pressure? That was just insane. The white pitman was ticking as well. Myron doing such a good job, and he he's really like getting aggressive on some of these recoveries too with the cross up neutrals into the up smash. Like that alone just does so much shield damage, especially if the up smash is a purple. Yep. It's the only thing I have to watch out for in this matchup is getting a little bit too aggressive because Weeper Trainer is extremely strong in the defense, right? She has like all her ledge mix-ups, she has Sun Citation, she has the ball. If she has uh, deep breathing, you just don't want to fight her at all. So, back air out of shield hits very, very low. So even if you're some of these shorter characters, since that back air hits so low, you're going to be able to scoop Olimar and get very, very early stocks here. And I know it's a very fast move too. Like, yes. I, I want to say it's like frame six or something like that. It's something absurd. You actually, what it does. you actually want to pressure Wii Fit in front because she has slower options in front of her than behind her. Yeah. She has a decent grab to be fair, but it's like, that's not good enough in this game. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta have the broken stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think actually I played Varen at Congo Saga in this matchup, funny enough. Oh, okay. But I played it completely differently, obviously. I just ran. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you said, that's one of the things. And because Myron held W in that situation, he got the shotgun back here to the face and it blew him up. Oh, oh but yeah. Geez. Yeah, look, okay. like she's very vulnerable because her hitbox and her up B is like to the size of her, not above her, and all of her just gonna down her you. Like, yeah. he's just gonna go, like, oh, you don't have a hitbox above you? Two frame downer, if I get it, you're dead. If not, like, I still am pretty safe. Because yeah. we can't really punish that either. Yeah, those hula hoops definitely not going over. We pitch uh, head there, just going around the waist. Does not really protect her from those kind of hitboxes here. And Myron definitely taking advantage of that, but no Pikmin here. The one thing you notice, though, <laughs> is that when she hits Oliver, she can chase him, and, like, she kills Pikmin very easily. Like, Oliver's attacks murder Pikmin. Yeah. Like, you see, like, even without trying to, like, Baron is just throwing at hitboxes, and they just casually hit the Pikmin and kill them. Yeah, and, and even, I, even purples. And I know that uh, Baron actually has, you know, experience in this matchup because Solmar, Solmar is in his region, so. Yep, he definitely plays Solmar Klaatu. quite a I bit. I think Klaatu is his new tag. My yeah, bad. yeah, Klaatu. I love that tag. It's so cool. Okay, so, I mean, he definitely has experience, but Myron, the Wi-Fi warrior, I, I would not be surprised if he plays, you know, really good Wii fits on Wi-Fi. Yeah, like, like, if you, like, play a character for, like, this long, you pretty much know almost every matchup with the character, at least somewhat. Yeah. Especially and, if like, you're, like, dedicated, like, character loyalist like both of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going to go for two frame, and he gets Jeez. it. That two frame is wow, the not down easy smash. Yeah, I was going to say, it's. I feel like the, the down air is a lot more generous because you're like kind of protruding downward by that ledge area, right? So you're just kind of throwing out this lingering hitbox. More so, you're just like, I know I can get the hit, but I want to get it to the point where I get the spike. That's the hard part, right? But that down smash is clean coming out from Myron. Yeah, no, because the down smash with yellow is actually really big, no surprise. And it actually stays up for quite a bit of time, so I was a... Uh, Another, An another, another thing. <laughs> like, I, I know about that, but I always forget to do it. But I know about that. Cause so, so does yellow have the biggest yes. hurt box when you're, like, smash attacking like that? Yes. Like, oh, below, it, below the stage? Oh, you know, it is, like, the best uh, two-frame Pikmin period. That's why, you know, okay. a lot of times, like, all our players don't get rid of the yellows. Because, like, if someone's off stage, we get such easy two frames. Like, we can do, like, rising yellow down air, and a lot of characters just get spiked. Not even, like, weak hit down air, they just get spiked and die. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, that was something in the very beginning of the uh, Olimar meta. A lot of people just toss the yellows, right? But now I feel like people are kind of holding on to them. Yeah, I think they're like the second best Pikmin, honestly. I feel like yellow, then yellow. I mean, purple, then yellow. <laughs> right, right, of course. Purple going to be number one. And Myron getting a little aggressive with some of these side bees. Actually throws one of the purples off stage. It's a pretty big deal. And again, Baron, these guys are just edge guarding the living hell out of each other. Yep, no, Baron keeps getting spikes because Olimar's probably no hitbox. And like, Weeper Trainer is really fast in the air, and her recovery is very fast. So, like, even if she misses the edge guard, she doesn't really have any risk. Like, she can go for it risklessly. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. She almost got the kill. He, like, Ooh. if he up smashed there, he would have got the confirm. I don't think Baron was really ready for the Nair to hit like that. But you can get little wonky setups like that with Weepin. If you get the single hit of Nair, you can go into a bunch of aerials or even up smash. And look, just like that, this game is looking really bad for Myron. Like, Baron got the one spike, and then Myron was like, pushing forward to his Varen trying to get a kill, and Baron just 
kept him away. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you're Olimar and you get the approaches, you get so much pressure. It's so powerful. But as I said before, Mario's on stream. If you can't get the approaches as Olimar, you place up so much risk and then you're getting blown up. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, it's like when even when you're behind with Olimar, you kind of fade back with these purples. And once something gets going, like a purple side, we connect. Okay, now I can, you know, go for the stock. Like we're seeing Myron do right now. He actually set up that particular situation, gets the downer, but it's not enough. He gets sent to the side. Yeah. I mean, now he has to kill in line of purple and blue. That's all you need to kill. But like, it, it's going to be hard. Oh, see, the purple had one down tilt. Yeah. There's a lot of hit lag, though, when you kill the pick with Weefa Trainer, but like, Olimar's not fast enough for you to take advantage of that from like that kind of distance. Wow, and look at three stocks to one. What a turnaround here for Varen. And just this stage pick is doing wonders for me, just playing so damn good. Yeah, like he's using the platforms not to die. He's like just playing around like all of Olimar's stuff. He's killing the purples when he can. And Myron's really trying to find a kill and he can't find the opening. Like, this is what we're trying to watch. She wow. wants to try to approach her. You play her game, you lose her game. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I mean, it, really, Baron just doing an incredible job. You pointed out all the things you like that anti Olimar tech, right? Some people just let some of these purples go and check. And that is the risk of Olimar throwing one of these purples in neutral. You, you are putting it out there. Obviously, you can get the hit, but they, you are putting that Pikmin at risk. Yeah, nice from Baron call with the jump. Like, he's also just calling Mario's jumps like, really well. Like, there's so many times when Mario's like, trying to be in the air, and Baron's just like, what are you doing, dude? That's my airspace. Yeah. And now this place wants to kill. Like, like, it's gonna be hard though with double purple. Like, Myron can just bring this back because double purple is so powerful. Yeah, yeah, especially with the yellow as well latched on. Tries to get the two frame. Ah, uh, the he, purple. He had the read, but since the purple is less range than a down smash, like, he he didn't get it. Plus, Weefa Trainer has one of, if not the longest ledge roll in the game. Yeah, I know, like, We Fit, Falcons up there as well, right? Some of those characters that have just ridiculously long ledge rolls. So you, you kind of have to keep that in the back pocket when you're going for these ledge traps. Myron just a tad bit short there on the, the run back into the down smash, and it's going to cost him his stock. I, I'm honestly not too big of a deal, honestly. Like, something like that happening like that, ha happening in game two when you're kind of already getting bopped, it's good to know for game three coming in, right? Yeah, yeah, Myron's probably going to be like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that big ledge roll. Like, when you fight We Fit Trainer, she has trouble fighting out of the corner, but she has really good ledge options if like you're in the middle of like her ledge roll distance basically so I feel like when you fight Weefa Trainer giving her space to the ledge if you don't get the immediate edge guard is generally a good play because then she's gonna not be a ledge roll and then she has what like do ledge jump and then as I said like, you know not the best like aerials for challenging things the ground game is not that strong like her dash attack is really good but that's better for like particularly good like ground options to get out of the corner and that's yeah. risky and you know Myron being back here at Frostbite. Last year he had quite the performance. I believe he got third place at Frostbite 2019. So of course, Myron definitely wanting to replicate that formula and get into this top eight. He's gonna have to get through Viren first though. Ooh, spot dodging is bad versus Weefa Train. Like every Weefa Train in the world wants to land falling there. That's yes. like their bread and butter yes. combo starter. That's like, well, what is Fox gonna do when he's jumping above me? He's like, oh, he's probably gonna nair. And then, I mean, it's the same for Weefa, right? It's like that, that one move that they're always looking for because they get so much out of it. Yeah, and like, like they can stuff up like grabs and whatever too, but it's like especially near with like deep breathing and stuff. Like always, just counterplay that. Oh, this is the Pikmin died. Yeah, like I said, Ooh. Pikmin died. Match up very easily to like everything. Yeah, especially with deep breathing, your you know your damage output gets increased as well. So oh wait a minute, gets oh he you you know that dash back, but he gets to bury the oh up air. Not Good enough. Good DIY though. He recognized it. He immediately drifted back. And both these guys kind of coming out swinging this game three, not giving us yep. a lot of time to talk about it. But Baron is the one that takes the first stock. Let's see how comfortable he can sit on this lead. Yeah, I think that forward tilt linger is like, I want to say it's like five frame linger, like Bowser forward tilt and a kill. So it's an extremely strong way to punish regular getup. I love ledge. how Baron will like throw out the soccer ball. If you hit it back to him, he's already like ready for it. Ooh. Wow, he was actually ready to get that down here. Oh my god, yep. And he clanked the purple pick with a hitbox, so Mario oh. couldn't attack him anymore. Oh my god, yep. He tries to fall in there until like an up air, and Mario yeah. just swung. I, I feel like he kind of overthunk that punish because he just fell right there. He wasn't expecting it, right? And then Myron kind of rolling away and then getting that up smash in that scramble situation. But Myron has taken so much percent, almost dying off the top to that up air. Luckily, we've turned has a a little bit difficult to kill him. Like she has kill moves once again. She has to kind of commit to these kill moves. So it's not easy for her to get the opening and see for someone to ledge. Which if Myron can just like, you know, like cancel out the projectiles with Pikmin, get the chip damage, even if he like doesn't like kick the sock first or anything. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter now. <laughs> All right, well, trying to, you know, 
find a way or find a reason for Myron to really, you know, come back into this game. It, it's just so difficult. But the up air juggles, that's something I know Myron gets very aggressive at. Once he gets those up air, he'll even opt to upbeat in the up air into in those situations. But man, right now, he's tacking on a lot of damage. Oh, if he went for back air, that might have been a stock. But it's hard to know in that moment. You want to see the purple Zed? Like, I don't think you can really fish for a specific lineup in this matchup, which is one very annoying thing. You just have to kind of take what you got. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, there's oh, there the back air. purple back air. Myron lining, coming through. Yeah, Myron is lining it up. He needs to to stay in this bracket, but of no, course. That paper grab. No, oh, really? Wow, he barely did it. Lib Varen takes it over Myron. Wow, the, the North Cow. We 